and welcome from the Mobile Burger Commissaire. We have the last three or two generations of the HTC One M7, M8 and M9. So from the first HTC One to the last HTC One, which was just announced yesterday, we have all in our hands and on table. So you can see a little bit of an evolution from a small 4.7 inch Full HD awesome device that a lot of people love but didn't get any attention. We got one that got more attention, was a little bit bigger and heavier and has a Full HD screen still and um, also a good back and front camera but not as good as on the first one I think. And now we have the perfect device in terms of a camera, an ultra pixel camera on the front, um, 20 megapixel on the back, um, enough internal memory. A still beautiful design, boom sound and everything built in, but there is still a few things missing that I will point out now um, compared to other devices. So, but we're only comparing mainly here now the last one, the HTC One M8 and the M9. So you can, as you can see, it got a little bit smaller, just a tiny wee bit, maybe 0.1 or 0.2 millimeters in height at least. Mm, and otherwise, you can see that now we have see-through Android buttons on the bottom, not like here that they are not see-through, um, but still both have lollipop. We have here Sense 7 and here Sense 6 running um, with the latest updates on both. But you can see here there's almost no difference when it comes to um, the software on both. I mean, it looks a little bit, but otherwise the, the hardware looks almost identical, except for here the sensor was a little bit smaller here, now it got a little bit bigger, and the boom sound speaker on the top was on the M8, also a little bit wider, but on the bottom they seem to be about the same. If you put them right next to each other, actually like this, you will see also that we had before a really not that good volume rocker, now we have separate buttons, which is amazing. Also here the SIM card slot stood at the same place, and now we have an on and off switch right here below, which is perfect for just hitting the on and off right there before it was on the top and was really unhandy because 5 inches and the top um, off switch is really not that good. On the bottom it stood the same micro USB and the headset port at the same place. And on the left we still have our um, SIM card slots, which now is a little bit different as you can see, but I guess it's the same, or micro SD card slot. And on top, infrared is also to keep. But it seems like the HTC One M9 got a little bit thicker. I don't know why, actually. So if you put them exactly on top of each other, it re it's really like it would be thicker, uh, but it has a new material, a little bit more shiny metal, not that matte metal as you can see when we put them right next to each other here on top right there and the camera also big difference as I said now we have 10 megapixels with sapphire glass before we had here just an ultra pixel camera with about 4 megapixels um, but uh, the flash stood the same and before we had also this refocus um, camera which is well, was just a secondary camera which we couldn't really use and we didn't know what it was exactly for they killed that and that's alright still second speaker and on the front also better new camera here with ultra pixel 4 megapixel so let's try those out so you can see here on the left the selfie camera let's go also here to the selfie m9 m8 you can see that that seems to be about the same actually the old one has maybe a little bit more details here on my cap uh, but on my face this one is actually better has uh, more details here on my beard maybe but the colors are a little bit different and this is all in auto mode or actually this is off on the other one so let's just try it the same way it still seems like I like I would like my old M8 a little bit better but maybe in low light I think this could be better because the f2.0 is just better for selfies so let's switch to the back camera on both we need an object to shoot, so let's try this one. And then you guys can see that the wide angle is also better on the old one. Now the new one with the 20 megapixel has a worse wide angle and I quite, I don't like that. I mean the quality is still awesome and uh, the sharpness and everything with 20 megapixels it should be better than the 4 on the right. Um, but the wide angle on our old ultra pixel camera was just better. Otherwise, speed-wise, they are about the same. Of course, processor-wise, we have a new one, the 810 processor, and now we can shoot 4K videos. We can only shoot full, full HD videos here with the old um, M8, and the 801 processor is, of course, not fast enough for that, but otherwise, it seems to be about the same hardware, or at least software in terms of speed and feelings. So if you compare it with the first model, of course, there, again, a lot has changed. Again, both have lollipop, as you can see here, look about the same. 
but we have here sense 7, not just six, uh, sense uh, 6. In terms of size, of course, there's also again a difference because we had 4.7 versus 4. Point, uh, versus 5.0 now. Thickness, again, it was slimmer in the beginning. Didn't have inf we, didn't, we did have infrared in the on and off switch on the top, again, from the top to the side now, really good with the M9. But otherwise, there was also no micro SD card slot on the first one, which is again, really bad because you had to live with 32 gigs, um, and that's it. So that was my first little comparison here, of course, with the HTC One M9. In a full review of the M9, you will see more uh, comparisons with other devices also, and of course, more information about the phone itself and like features like the themes, uh, which is uh, brand new, and all kinds of other things that's made that's, that makes the um, M9 really a special phone. That you definitely check it. Uh, definitely, definitely should check out um, as soon when it comes to market in April or May. So thank you much for tuning in. My name is Balaj, and till next time, peace out. Tune in again. Thank you.